Good morning, or oh, depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or oh, good night. Ross, Voice Radio, you know the deal. Uh, we've done our, we did a tour, that was fun, we enjoyed the tour. And I've got a couple of people, most of whom are way more famous and popular than I am, to see what they thought about the Pokemon Centre, so, you know, let's talk to them, shall we? What's on, people? I'm here for Jack from Nerd Out, who is apparently way more popular than I am, so <laughs> apology for that. Jack, there's something special about you today. What's special about you? Uh, I spent a bit too much money in the, in the, in the store, and I decided to get the biggest Pikachu in, in England. That is a ridiculous size Pikachu. Yeah, apparently they're having to buy a new one in from Japan this week for the, for the opening. Nice. Do we know how many, like, do you know how many there were there? This is the only one. Oh, it was literally a one shot deal. the only one in England. So. Oh, wow. So you are now very, very special. Oh, yeah, I had to get it. It was like, I have a group the same size. So uh, I've got a little baby group that sounds the same size. So it's just part of the collection now. So. Do you even have space for that? Yeah, I just bought a new house. It's my housewarming gift to myself. So. <laughs> That's amazing. So I'm moving next week. It's going in the brand new office. And I was like, okay, ready for Sword and Shield. So. And I have to ask the question that people are wondering. How much did you pay for the giant Pikachu? Uh, it was just shy of £250. So. I expected it to be more, to be honest, so I'm quite happy with my pick. I have no regrets. See, I didn't even realise it was for sale. If I did, there's a chance I might have. I'd already got it. I walked in, first thing I walked up to, and I was like, oh, I went in a half one, dude. Oh, okay. I could have beat you. You could have, but you didn't. I have regrets. Cool. Well, thank you very much for chatting to us, sir. Give me in, yeah. Hey, look, it's Joe. He runs Serebii. Hey, Joe. Hello. This is probably a big deal for you, right? Well, Pokemon saying it. You are like the Pokemon dude. Well, well. Did it live up to your expectations? Very much so. <laughs> I want on the record, Joe spent more than me. Just about. So what was good about this? Like, what about the Pokemon Center was, was great for you? It's just all the exclusive merchandise, really. I mean, it's just stuff you just wouldn't see anywhere else, and then you look at it and you think, you know what, actually, I want this. Not tempted by the giant Pikachu? I was, but it sold by the time I got there. That's very, very sad. Now, you've obviously played the demo before. Did you partake today, or was it no, a bit...? Not, not today, no. Oh. Is there anything you would like them to have done, or do you think this was about the best we could have hoped for? I mean, a distribution of a jolly Pikachu would have been nice for like let's go or something like that <laughs> but other than that I'm really happy with this I might even go again even though I have no need I was going to say are you going to come back over the weekend or a bit later on or is it maybe, just maybe a bit later on it all depends on timings excellent and I hear you've got an anniversary coming up so yes the 20th anniversary of Cerebi.net is on Monday congratulations for that sir thank you very much Hey, look, it's Berkey with Toby. Hey, he's just, he? <laughs> he's just been to the Pokemon Center. How was it? Mate, it's been good. I've, no, I've been very excited for this. It's nice to be invited. It's nice to be asked. And then it's nice to get to buy things. <laughs> How much did you buy, Toby? I, can, I can't say that. I'm not asking you to put a dollar figure on it. That would be somewhat rude. We're British, after all. Very many. It was good. It was good. I bought uh, basically all of the exclusives I possibly could. Nice. And uh, a couple of other little things from Max. Now that you've, Max, for what I live. <laughs> you've been out for a minute or two now, uh -huh. are there any regrets? Is there anything that you can see in your mind still on the shelf yeah. that you didn't buy? Um, I, um, no, no, I'm pretty sure I just went in and I got everything I gotta get. That's good, you feel good about that. Was it everything you dreamed of? It's our first ever Pokemon Center, was it? Did they do a good job? They did a smashing job. I'm sorry, I, can, we'll see, can we do this in a sec? Because someone's now just called me back there super quickly for 20 seconds. I gotta go say hi to them. Wait, sorry. I'm so sorry, that was so impressive on me. I had, someone called me over and I like, had to run to go and say hello. It's a good job you're an important man, Toby. I can forgive you. Hardly. This. But no, it was a blast. I've had such a good day at the Pokemon Center. It's been wonderful, mate. And it's been nice to meet you. I know, we've, not, we've chatted. We've never actually hung out. I know, it's been good. And as I'm getting more and more into card games, it's like just nice to know there's other card game friends out there. Yeah, it's good. Right, I think you're being literally whisked into an elevator, so I'm going to leave you now. I will see you in a bit. Thanks, Toby. I will catch you in, man. Thank you. All lovely people. Toby did ask that we could restart the interview, but I was like, no. The stop in the middle made it more fun. So yeah, if you're in the area, come down. It's quite a lot of fun. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.